Hola, I'm Senora Jones and I teach Spanish Connections. So with a Spanish class, you are really learning about language, the language, the grammar, the structure, um, and it, you take it for three years um, and you get a high school credit for it. But in my class, it's only going to be a semester. We do learn some vocabulary and language of Spanish, but it also, uh, we do a lot of culture. And I have units that I think that students will um, enjoy uh, and that they have enjoyed. Um, they will be doing fun things that you don't have time for in a regular Spanish class. So there are 21 different Spanish speaking countries and they learn about all the different countries throughout the time they're in my class. So in my class, I try to do all different types of things that students will enjoy. Um, you know, we, we will learn about government of Venezuela and um, of with socialism and our government in the United States so that you can be able to understand the differences between them. Uh, and we also do fun things like um, we cook and have different recipes that are uh, from different countries that you probably haven't eaten before and are very fun. Um, we also have a garden. Uh, in eighth grade, I teach about the Incas and the, the agriculture. We learn about the agriculture of the Incas and, um, the, and then the modern day agriculture in South America. Um, we have a greenhouse and we, we try to grow food um, that we, and we do service learning. So there, in one um, class, we don't have enough growing season to have it all um, from seed to, uh, to vegetable. So we donate the uh, vegetables that we grow to some people in Alpharetta that are Hispanic um, that are food insecure and that way um, students get the the feeling of doing something for people that we've been learning about their culture and then we get to give back to the people that are in need. So my eighth grade class for Spanish Connections is not for a high school credit. They would be earning their high school credit through the um, the language uh, year-round class of Spanish. If you choose to be in my class for um, your eighth grade, you will be in my class for one semester, and then the second semester, you will be in another class like PE, for example. Uh, whatever class is um, another semester-long class and not a year-long class. Okay, so the students that are gonna do well in my class are anybody that has the interest. They, I have students that are um, hispano hablantes que hablan español en su casa. I have students that speak Spanish at home and they, they love being in there to learn more about their own culture and other people's cultures that speak Spanish. Also students that take, I have a lot of students that take Spanish uh, for they've taken it all the way through Webridge and they love my class because it's something that in my class you learn a lot of culture that you just don't have time to learn in uh, a year-long class there's so many topics that I can teach that they don't teach um, in the normal eighth grade class because there's just not time to do everything and so those students will uh, really enjoy my class, as well as students that have never had um, Spanish at all, like students that take French or sign language or reading. They will do great in my class because they will have um, the ability to learn uh, language as well as culture. And I've got students that I've had in sixth and seventh grade, and. You guys know me and um, we will be doing 
some of the same things uh, for the introduction, but all the themes that we will be doing will be completely different than you had in sixth and seventh grade. So don't feel like just because you had my class uh, for sixth or seventh grade that you'll be bored and we'll be doing the same thing because it will be totally different and you will also enjoy it. So everybody can uh, do well in my class. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you are all welcome. Bienvenidos a todos. So one of the things that makes my class different is that I try to make things hands-on. We are going to learn language, we're going to learn culture, but I try to mix it all up and have sometimes, uh, you know, we're going to be learning vocabulary and you're going to learn some history, you're going to learn some all different things, but for example, you're going to also have each unit I do has a hands-on part of it and I always make sure that there is a, a, a sort, a, a segment of the class that is very fun for each unit. And so that makes it different than other classes. And so some parts, it might feel like a social studies class. Uh, some parts, it might feel like a science class because we are learning all different things. Sometimes it might feel like PE because we'd be learning some sports. We might be playing soccer. Um, when I know when you took my class in seventh grade, we played the Mayan ball game. So um, there, there, that's what culture is. It's, it's hands-on, it's fun, exciting, because we're all people and people like to do fun things. We like to learn about um, different cultures and see how, I try to bring those cultures alive uh, to you and let you experience them in a way that you might not have otherwise. You might learn how to play music. You might learn how to dance. Um, it's always gonna be something new and exciting. So in my class, I do have like to have a little bit of an academic structure to it. Um, if you had my class in sixth or seventh grade, you know that I every uh, week I give a quick check, and I just that's just to keep you accountable for your learning each week, whether it's something about culture, of um, or vocabulary. Uh, but it will always be easy. It'll only be 10 multiple choice questions. And then I also have Duolingo or This Is Language where they will um, simply be able to learn at their own pace and their own level Spanish uh, and be able to do lessons with that. So the, those are the two more academic, if you want to call them components, just to keep students um, accountable for their work so that they are paying attention and giving me their all because they know that they will see it again. <laughs>